Oh, it's another warm one. So I've got my neck fan on. It's a little bit noisy. It's actually not on high speed. That's the highest speed. As you can see, it's blowing the old hair. Oh, it's lovely. And silence. It's actually really good. I. That was the postman. My window's open and my letterbox is on the wall. Anyway, it's gone. I'm waiting for a delivery. It might have been that. I'll see. Yeah, but um, a couple of weeks ago now, parcel arrived. This was in it. My Amazon fairy had been shopping, I think. And I was like, what's that? What do I want that for? Why have you bought that now? And he was like, you'll want it. And I was like, nah, I don't want it. Thanks, though. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> But yeah, a little bit noisy, but if you're doing something and you're boiling hot, then it's brilliant. And it's got like a bendy, that's really bendy, so you can just do whatever and you can straighten it out. So if you've got a really mahusive neck, oh, it's like a big telephone, isn't it? Look <sighs> about that. Male customer service days. Hello? <laughs> Right, anyway, what day are we on? We're on Thursday and I've just had Rebecca J's husband in my house. Lovely man. No, we haven't been husband swapping. He's been around to service my boiler and he's fixed all my radiators with his mate. He had his mate with him. They've done a fabulous job, but he's coming back because the man that installed our boiler, who's my husband's friend, hasn't quite done it right, but that's another story and we'll get that sorted. But yeah. Um, what else? Nothing else, but yeah. Thursday, 14th of July. Take that off. I haven't had anything to eat yet. And it's 20 to 1. I've just been really busy with... Um, sorting out Jeff and then I had to go down my mother's because I had to be there for him because she's doing a job for her as well but yeah so Jeff is now going to be my new plumber when I need any work done he was very efficient so thanks Rebecca um what else yeah my mother wants to go shopping and I also need some shopping. So I'm just going to have something to eat and then I'm going to Tesco for a change to make sure I've got my club card on me with their prices. But we're going to have Caesar, a Caesar type salad, not a traditional Caesar salad, as in just what a Caesar salad has. I'm going to put other stuff in it. I'm going to put some seeds in it, maybe. I'm going to put some feta cheese in it. I'm going to put maybe some beetroot I'm just gonna do a massive big salad i just fancy a really big salad now i'm gonna have this to eat before i go out this is a skinny protein bar it's salted caramel it's today it, today's it's this month's date on it so I'm, I'm gonna have it it's 99 calories but that's per piece and there's two pieces in there so that's what i'm gonna have and if i don't have anything else which i probably won't because protein bars obviously fill me up um that leaves me for later with over 1700 calories now i'm finding that not having breakfast and having not the biggest of dinners uh, lunches i have got a huge amount of calories to play with then for later so i can have really sort of extravagant calorie wise extravagant meals in the night and it's at night time that is the main time that I need to satisfy myself as it were not in that way with food so at night time I like to have my 
calories there. Like if I only had two or three calories left at the end of the day to make a meal with, I'd be a bit like, oh, and that's when I would tend to be right, oh, stuff my face. So leaving my calories to later on in the day and just having two meals, I'm finding is working. And I know I lost a pound this week and a pound's a pound, I know, but I got a feeling next week's going to be... A good one. Because, you know, I've cheeky little way now and again and scales are looking good. Although they did look good last week and then they buggered back up. But we shall see. So, for now, I'm having this. I will show you what I pick up in Tesco's. And that's about as exciting as my day is today. I do actually need to go back down the tip tonight. But I might see if Warren will go when he gets in from work because... The stuff that I need to take down the tip tonight, stuff that's been in the back garden and it's a bit funky and dirty, so I don't want my car getting dirty. He his can get dirty. So I might see if he fancies doing it, because tomorrow we are having our double French doors that way replaced. That's going to kill the bank account, because my 14-year-old son, about two years ago, in a temper tantrum, slammed them you know what teenagers are like when they don't get their own way or they kick off they slam things well he slammed my french doors and ever since then they've not shut properly you could lock them but they just didn't shut properly that is the plan for tomorrow and then i need to shop around online all the kids they're not desperately in need for new beds. My eldest is because he's all but outgrown his bed. He could do with a bigger bed. And his radiator was leaking. It's been fixed now. His radiator had been leaking. We didn't know it had been leaking. He had a pair of joggers down the side of his bed because he's a lazy teenager. And the radiator leaking has been getting soaked up by the joggers, which has then been leaning against his divan base. Oh, there's me talking about my um, French doors, back doors, and that was them on the phone. Cancelling me for tomorrow. They're not going to be finished on the job they're doing, so they're coming 25th now. Flipping heck. Never mind, can't be helped. Um, right. That put me off my stride, them ringing. So I'm going to finish making my shopping list. I'm going to eat this protein bar. I'm going to hit the shops, give my mother a push round in the wheelchair. Stops me buying as much because I can't fit it all in. But uh, yeah, Tesco's. And then I need to pop to Lidl's or Aldi because I want some cheap pop. And I'm in two minds whether to have a go at making butter. Yes, I might be mad. Seen a lot of it on the internet. People are buying, um, like, milk and cream and stuff, and they're making their own butter. Might give it a go, because they're ridiculous. Who's paying six quid for a lure pack? I ain't. Right, see you in the next clip. Ooh, I'm back. Oh, I'm such a Karen today, I tell you. I even called the manager in Tesco's and said it just wasn't good enough. I tell you what, I went to Upper Boat Tesco, which is the one I mainly go to. Got my mother in the wheelchair, me and my gammy leg hobbling along. And I'm standing there, no wheelchair trolley. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun, dragging a trolley and pushing her in a wheelchair. And I went up to customer service and said to the girl, is there any wheelchair trolleys anywhere, you know? Nah, they're all out. She just said that to get rid of me. But she, she didn't get rid of me because I said, um, well, that's not good enough. I said, it's a big store. You've got two disabled trolleys. Apparently they used to have six. Four have gone missing. So they're probably in someone's back garden. Um, but yeah, they got two. So I started to walk off and think, oh, I'll just get another trolley. And then I thought, no, Karen Karen came into action. And so I went to, go manager, please. She went, yeah. So, Thanks. Bloke comes over now. Very unprofessional. He was, I guess, eating something. He was, sandwich or something. And he was like, yeah, yeah, Slav. I said, uh, 
mother's in a wheelchair. I've come to do a big shop. Not a really big shop, but you know, I've come to do a shop. I said, you know, and he went, can she go in a scooter? And I looked at him and I looked at her and I looked at him again and I went, really? Do you think she looks capable of driving a scooter? So if you want any shop left, then no, she can't drive a scooter, sorry. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and then he sent the poor man on security who had to go and find one. And he come back with one from the car park. So for that girl, just to turn around and say, no, I haven't got any. So I said to the trolley man, he was lovely. I said, oh, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. La, 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 la. Very appreciative. We got our trolley. We went to do our shopping. And I said to him, have a word with manager, I said, because two trolleys is crap in it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, love. And then as we were doing a shopping, I could see him speaking to the manager. So there's me, Karen Mo. Do you need more of these trolley? Yeah, I'm ordering some, love. I'm ordering some. So that was that. Kids have just come in now. And Dexter and Jackson have brought their school reports home because they walked home today. Jackson's had a lovely school report. But what happened to yours, Dexter? It was bad. It was bad. What was bad about it? Something. What we got? What was bad about it? Maybe it was about my behaviour. Maybe that he likes to act the clown in class. Is that what it is? Cheers. They should have, they should have mentioned more stuff. Uh, you are. The report's not totally right. It's not it's, totally right, is it's it? It's way more badder. It's way more badder. Is that a word, badder? It's worse than you were expecting, was it? Oh, it's it's better than I expected. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you thought that was better than you expected, you need help, love. He's basically following his mother. <clears throat> messing around in class and he should be working. Wait, was that what you did? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. <laughs> can I have a pack of crisps? No, I can Oh, you absolutely stink of garlic. Go away. Why, why, oh. I let them... Because oh. we were running late this morning. Um, I was putting the hoover around and stuff. Because Plumber was coming. I was like... Shah! Um, I was hoovering. I was like, right, you can have food down the shop. And they picked a salad. And, oh, it must have been garlic. Was it garlic? No, it was spicy. Oh, it's garlicky. It stinks garlic. And... I was hoovering this morning with my shark hoover that is I broke it. how old is it? Four months old, five months old. I think it's here. And I was coming down the stairs with it, which is fine. And then I put it at the bottom of the stairs to hoover back up the last few stairs. And it's blinking well cut out on me. What else can go wrong in my life? So, I'm going to have to get Wazza on the case to look at that tonight. And if he can't fix it, then I'm going to have to be another Karen, aren't I? No, I'll just have to get on to Shark and say, my was not working. Anyway, let's get on to the shopping haul. It's not a massive haul. I spent £66, maybe. And I didn't get stuff to do lots of meals. I just got stuff to do... Tonight and can I have a piece of this? A piece of what? Yeah. What? Why are you eating your crisps there? Yeah? Yes, you can. I got this. Now I wouldn't generally buy this in my shopping. This is the sort of thing when it's the kids' birthdays to take into school, and then all the kids in the class when it's one of the kids' birthdays they have a piece. You're not allowed to take in um, homemade stuff anymore. You're allowed to take homemade stuff in anymore. I think when COVID's done, we can. But... When COVID's done, oh, that's never then. You used to be able to send in a, your own cooked stuff so I could make fairy cakes and blah de blah de blah Not allowed now, which is fair enough, but yeah. However, this was £9. And it's pounds. More, and it's more What's more tasty? Um, Mine or the shop ones? The um, shop ones are more tasty than mine. You, you don't put sugar in. You don't put like sugar. I do. You don't, you don't put like that really sugary stuff. 
What really sugary stuff? Explosive warhead sugar. Explosive warhead sugar? Yeah. In my cupcakes? Yeah. But you can get the gist of this child now, can't you? And why you had his report he had. Anyway, £9. But did I pay £9? No, I wouldn't pay £9 for cake. However, yes, this was a yellow sticker yeah. bargain. It was £3.51. So I, I thought, get in my trolley. And it was hiding underneath a load of loaves of bread. So I just like, oh, caught it out of the corner of my eye. Never miss a bit of cake, me. But yeah, it's, so it's the ultimate chocolate tray bake. An indulgent chocolate cake smothered in chocolate frosting topped with M&M's, Maltesers and Galaxy Drops. And calorie-wise, it's 203 calories for 46 grams. And I've got over 1,700 calories left at the moment for tonight. So, yes, I will be having a small piece of this with, may I add, some cream? What else have we got here? For a change, I got some apple squash. Good, I'll say bye, Bina. That looks me like I lost this sample the other day. We took to the doctor. No, it's apple. It says it's 40% fruit juice from concentrate. I look like I've gone off Ribena. Looks like Grandma's Ribena. No, mm. it looks like a gone off Ribena. Gone off Ribena, yeah. It's five calories for 300 ml glass. The apple juice. Drop that one. I thought I'd make a change from you having orange and... It doesn't look like apple juice. It looks like pea. So, picked up this ranch dressing. We do like a bit of ranch dressing, especially when we go to Subway. Kids like it in their um, subs. This one is Newman's own dressing and dip. Suitable for vegetarians. So, I got that one. I need my old glasses. It is... Not for the faint-hearted. It's 417 calories for 100 mil. <gasps> so I don't want to be too heavy-handed um, using that one. I also got this to go on our tea tonight. This one is Caesar dressing. And it is... It's even worse than that one. Jesus. Let's see, I didn't look at the calories because I'm saving all my calories and I have got a lot of calories. I can get away with having stuff like this. A lot of you will probably be like, Jesus Christ, can't have that. You can have anything you want in moderation. However, go away. <laughs> Hi everyone. Dexter. Hi. 600. That's crazy. It's 250 mil in there. And for like 100 mil of it, it's 607. Anyway, if you've got calories to use, have some of this. If you haven't, get the reduced fat version. Oh my God. Pickled onions, again, to put some in our dinner tonight. 18 calories for 50 grams. We have got some semi-skim milk. And this is 100 mils, 50 calories. So that is that lot. Trifle sponges. Now, I haven't used trifle sponges since I was a kid. I always remember helping my mother make a trifle and cutting these and then when she wasn't looking I'd have a bit off the end you know and then put it in when she weren't looking there's a lot I used to do when she weren't looking but that's another story um one trifle sponge is 71 calories so that's not too bad actually if you just want to do a bit of sponge 71 calories you could just eat one of them but I have plans to do a trifle I've got tinned fruit in the cupboard I haven't used I've got loads of jellies. I've got tins of custard. Plus, I bought a tin of custard just in case the custard I've got weren't in date or something, you know. 
And now I've got these. So there's going to be a trifle coming up. But not today, obviously. But yeah, I'm possibly doing a barbecue on the weekend. Not sure yet. Possibly. Depends if the people that were going to come can come. But if I do, I could possibly do it then. But yeah, trifle sponges. That's um, bits. Is it 60s? A bit retro trifle sponges. But you know. Right, we've got some fridge raiders. And I have fridge raiders, human fridge raiders in this house. It really stresses me out. We had a lock on the old fridge and I'm all but thinking of getting one on this one, I tell you. Looking kids. 43 calories these are per pack anyway. But they're a really low, uh, low calorie snack. However, things just don't last in this house. The majority of our money just goes on food because it gets as soon as it hits the shelves it's eaten i absolutely love tesco's beetroots these are steamed in vinegar i could seriously just sit down and eat the whole pack of them just like sweets i love them they are 37 calories for 90 grams again possibly have some of them in our salad tonight but i really do like those I picked up these. Now, Maryland cookies aren't new. However, this flavour is Caramel Crisp Minis. They are 95 calories a bag. So, if I get a look in, I'll let you know what they're like. Otherwise, they'll be going in the kids' pack lunches and things. And the six in a, in a pack. So, I got those. They were on offer for a pound as well. And then, I did pick up this custard. Now... I did get the reduced fat one because even though I could get away with the full fat one, there was quite a calorie difference. This one's 154 for half a can and I think the full fat one was just under 200. So yeah, there was quite a difference. So I went for the low fat. So tin of custard. I also picked up some whipping cream for my trifle. This is 110 for two tablespoons, which is a lot. I'm going to make this trifle when I've got a few spare calories and then I can have a nice old good helping of that. Picked up this. It was on offer. Now the kids like tomato sauce. However, this has got Guinness in it. I know Guinness is alcohol, but the amount of Guinness that's going to be in there. Do you know what I mean? I let my kids drink and smoke. They're only nine and ten. That's a joke before anyone's like, <gasps> she doesn't. No, my kids don't drink and smoke. Um, but yeah, it's. I did buy it for me and Warren, really. But if they want to try it, I'll let them try it. I haven't bought this primarily for them to have as their ketchup. But if they want to try it, I will let them get it, even though it says Guinness on it. It says, open, squeeze, enjoy. It says, classic ketchup with Guinness twist. This tangy, rich and smoky sauce is packed full of flavour and adds a little oomph to any meal. Calorie-wise, what we're looking at? 123 for 100 mils. So that's not bad because you only have about 15, 20 mil um, on your plate. But yeah, got that. Right, I got some baby leaf salad. Three bags. One for me, one for me, one for me. No, I got two for us for tonight to make our salad. And of course, I couldn't forget Tom and Jerry, could I, that's in the garden. My guinea pigs. Um, so I got them a bag. It's only nine calories for half a pack, so mega low calorie. Stuff. We have got some ripen at home peaches. So a punnet of peaches. I got these jammy dodgers. Kids love jammy dodgers. Jam. Jammy dodgers. I still haven't opened them banana ones yet. I bought the other week, but I know of the kids, so they obviously don't like them. 78 calories for one. These are blueberry. So I got those. I also got a small pot of single cream, if anybody wants cream on that chocolate cake I bought earlier. And that one is 194 for 100 mil. So I've got that cream. I also picked up these blueberry pancakes. 
the kids go to breakfast club usually in the morning sometimes they decide they don't want to go however if they don't they have something little in the morning to eat so 172 calories a pancake and you can see they've got blueberries dotted about in them so i've got those i got these for myself which i'm going to have after my shopping haul i've got to be honest these i absolutely love whenever i go to tesco's or asda and they've got them in i do have to pick them up they're all different flavors they are the fresh version of the frozen mochi ones and that you can get in um aldi and the little moons that you obviously get frozen they are quite expensive they were two pounds something for two and they are a bit like putting um something in your mouth that you know some how do you explain it they're rather testicular you know they're like that how many calories is in this now 113 for one i am gonna have these i'll just show you what they're like they are bloody lovely i gotta say even if my explanation of what they I like it's, it's vulgar they're like um you know you can get my drift can't you what they like they're very um yeah them anyway them we've got some pork sausages i only bought these because they're on the end of the aisle on offer and i was like right they'll do they are 10 pork sausages and they're 330 calories for two sausages. I picked up some Parmigiano Reggiano, if that's how you say it, for tonight. Just to sprinkle on the salad, 121 for 30 grams. These were on offer, so they went in the basket or the trolley. They are sweet mixed baby tomatoes and calorie wise it doesn't say how strange i'll find out and pop it on the screen that's them i got three packs of this garlic and herb chicken because as you know it's hot have i said it's hot yes loads of times every day every video i'm just going to chop this up and put it in our salads i've got three packs of it because there is five of us and nobody wants to hunt the chicken in their salad do they so 96 calories for my eyesight's going huh hang on now what's that say yeah that's not bad half the pack so i have three of them i also picked up two feta cheeses again maybe some will go in our dinner tonight i'm just going to be making this massive bowl of salad for everybody so 84 calories for 30 grams so two of them we also had these for myself you know i am partial to a bit of dark chocolate so if anybody says oh they're maltesers for me i'll be like no they're mine they're also 30% less sugar. I didn't see that when I picked them up. They are 145 calories for a third. Had them. We got some bagels. Bagel thins. These ones are 130 per bagel. Just maybe the kids pack lunches or... Well, actually, no, because they get school dinners on a Friday. So they'll just be for, for us in the house. Don't know if anyone else is like me, but we have a sock monster in the house. A sock monster. He's continually eating the socks, leaving one sock and then no partner. Has anybody else got a sock monster? Please let me know down below in the comments. Because once, many years ago, when the kids were tiny, I think I had about three black bags. Yes, 
that's no exaggeration three black bags i had an obsession of buying socks could never pair them up if i could live my life again from the moment those kids were born i would buy gray socks all the same so you would always have a partner for your sock but yeah moral of the story is more socks so yeah they're just ankle socks nine years plus so pack it of socks give it a week and they'll all be saying i don't know where the socks have gone another net of easy peelers or what are they yeah they are easy peelers Ooh. got my finger i think we go through these like mad easy peelers we also picked up these they're on offer for a pound in tesco which is good for tesco i know 66 calories for the salted caramel and the jaffa cake ones are the same 66 so i had those we also picked up these now i've heard a lot of bad things about these they're 90 calories for one, they were on offer for two pound instead of two eighty nine. Somebody on TikTok was eating these, and she reckoned that she'd been conned. They were an absolute waste of money. Oh, she's flipping right and all. Look at these. That's full of air. Right, as I've got a lot of calories left, let's give these a go. Ninety calories. Oh, do you know what? Give me a Krispy Kreme any day for proper calories. That's a joke. You know what? Kids will be getting them in their pack lunch next week. That's the middle of it. That's what it looks like. And it's so small. It's got a big um, big mouth like mine. You get the old thing in it once. Mm. That was. That was a waste of two pound. No way would I want to pay two two pound eighty nine for them. That was a waste of two pound. I would much rather use extra calories and have a proper donut. Yeah, fibre one ninety calorie, whatever you are. They're not nice. When I say they're not nice. Don't get me wrong. It was nice. It was nice. You could tell it was a low fat thing. It wasn't yummy. So although it had a nice flavor and the icing on top is all but left an oily, an oily feeling in my mouth. Yeah, I don't recommend them. Not buying them again. Oh, I did cut my finger on them oranges, you know. Yeah, don't waste two quid or your two eighty nine. Hundred percent thumbs down for me on that. I bet put that in my app now. Ninety calories. You waste some ninety calories, wanna? Right, let's move on after me little taste test in my shopping haul. Got some of this to go on our salad. It's gonna be an ultimate salad this tonight. Let me tell you. Hopefully. This is Caesar Crumble Salad Topper. It says crunchy and zingy roasted crumbled fava. Is it fava? 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 Fava. Fava beans in a Caesar seasoning. I can't remember how much they were. I just checked them in dry. I think they're about two quid, two pounds, maybe. As she says, they're vegan on top. They are high in protein, high in fiber, 100% natural and vegan. If any of you are vegan. So yeah, Caesar crumbles. So some of that's gonna go on and it is 123 calories for 30 grams. 
30 grams of that would probably be quite a lot. So you probably you wouldn't need 30 grams of it just to put on your salad to give it a bit of a crunch. I also got some croutons. These ones are olive oil and sea salt, and they are for a quarter of the pack, 112. They're the type of croutons that take your teeth out because they're so hard. I don't think Warren likes these in his salad, so I might leave them off, but they're nice on soup as well. Not that I have a lot of soup. And then the last two things I picked up were Flora, because it was on offer. You know, got to get the cheapest. And I noticed that in Tesco, their low pack was £6.75. Not £6 like Asda, £6.75. Did I say £6.75? Wow. Mistake. But yeah, Flora. This isn't the low fat one. I just got the normal one because I don't subject my children to low fat stuff all the time. £675 for 100 grams of that but to put it on a piece of piece of toast or something i only use about 20 grams if I... yeah and i got some of this low fat yogurt it is their own make the cream fields one i do like to get the full fat one usually because if you can afford the extra calories they are the creaminess of the full fat ones is so much nicer but i just picked this one up for today so that's just to have with some fruit or when if i make a smoothie or or whatever it's got quite a good date on it 8th of august so yeah i got that so that is everything i picked up i'm gonna go and hide the donuts in the cupboard because i don't want them do you want a donut dex oh look come and do a taste test on my donuts then before i go dex will test one right you got to give your honest opinion of what you think. Mm, you don't look like that much. Right, you have to come into the bed. Right? Just start. Where are you going? In the right, try the donut then. What do you think it looks like to start with? Hmm? What's the look of it? Very icy, so... It's very icy. You mean it's got a lot of icing sugar on it, is there? Yeah, and it's like hard. It's like. You're not dropping any bits on my chair, are you? It's like when you get a melted chocolate. That's all. No, it's melting, right? Well, first, yeah. It looked like one of them floaties. You know, um, floaties like that. You mean it looks like a rubber ring? Can yeah. you stop kicking this chair, please? Right. So, it's nice. The icing is nice. Hmm. It's not like a real proper donut, though, is it? Mm. You compared one. No, they're not that different. What would you give it a score out of? Mm. Nine. What? Either nine or eight. Well, you've got an different eight, taste buds to me. An 8.5. Oh, well. If you want to try them, guys, try them. My advice is don't waste your two quid. Get them for your children. <laughs> Get them for your children. Poison them. Right, we're going now. You can wash your hands now. Maybe you do. Right. We're going. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next clip. Bye. For dinner. When we've got dinner on the go. Yeah. I'm going to put all this away now. So I'll see you in the next clip. So this is my dinner and it has turned out to be astronomical. It's 1,416. Yes, you heard me right. And the reason is that is because that culprit right there, I thought I was being quite gingerly with it, and I ended up with 81 grams, which was 400 and odd calories. So let me tell you, it better be nice. I've only got 100 and 
22 left, so I won't be having any of that cake, but I'm not bothered about that. But yeah, that is my dinner. So it's just a massive salad with chicken and feta cheese. There's absolutely loads in there. I'll stick it on the screen. And yeah, that's my dinner. Well, although that dinner was very nice, I only ended up eating half of it. So I cut my calories in half. Um, and I had 122 left, which I didn't eat because my mother rang. Dexter went down and Dexter rang me, said I had to go down. She was all confused. Um, she's lost her glasses. So she's had to put her sunglasses on. So she's walking around like Stevie Wonder. Um, we have ransacked her house and cannot find her glasses. I don't know what she's done with them other than eating them. So I think I'll have to go to the opticians tomorrow and see if I can get another pair. Oh, give me strength. Anyway, I'm finishing with loads of calories left because I didn't eat much of my dinner. So the rate I'm going, I'll be slim in no time. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow for more. Bye guys.